welcome everybody to Star Wars Dream Team Vlog. I'm Lena Erdiel and I'm currently in Denmark, Klitmolder. And finally, there is a good forecast for tomorrow. I have here my new favorite toy, the 2024 Ultra. So in this box, that comes with all new boards. You will find the bend screw, all the foot straps, the fins, and of course, the torques. So, let's go. Let me show you exactly how to put these straps on. All the screws are just loose in this box as at Starboard they are not using any more unnecessary plastic packaging, which is awesome and uh, you're gonna have a little bit of work when you first get your foot straps. You have to um, put the screws on them. So first you take this part, this is facing down into the strap and put this on the screw. Then you have to find the holes here inside the strap and place the screw on top of the hole. Then you just screw them down <laughs> and check that it's coming out on the other side. So now you can see the screws come out on the other side. You can screw a little bit more and then you just have to watch that you don't um, screw this part under the rest of the screw. So you can hide it nicely like this later so that when you're sailing and you step on top of the screw your foot is protected. So what's important to know is that there's two different lengths of screws, a longer one and a shorter one. And the longer ones are for the front foot straps and uh, the shorter ones are for the back foot straps. And they also come with a different plate so that you can fit two next to each other. Yeah. So time to put the fins. For the side ones, you got this super easy system here. The screw is already in, so you just have to loosen it. So you want to get this part under the plate of the screw that's already in the board. So you go in and then... Now you can screw it tight on this side. So for the back fin, there are several different screws in here so that you can use it with different um, fins. But um, to put in the original one, you have to look for the skinniest, longest one you can find in there. So you can place it like this and you take this plate, place it in the board. And again, I'm probably going to start with like quite a middly position. Actually, I can't take this out. And and voila. Ready to rip. I'm so excited about this swallowtail. The first time I'm going to be riding uh, one of these ultra models, so I really can't wait to see how they turn in the waves. So for those of you who don't know where Klitmala is, it's the very northern tip of Denmark. So you can see there is Denmark and I've already selected the two spots that I might want to sail at. One is called Hansholm up here and the other one is Klitmala down here. And as you can see, the forecast is looking really nice. And uh, yeah, I can't wait.
such a nice session. It was so good to be back in the waves. I had so much fun. Um, the new Ultra felt awesome. Like I didn't have to do anything and this top turn, like the tail of the board was just like turning around by itself and uh, then I had enough grip to get back into the wave. So I, I really love that feeling and it was just great to be back in the waves. Um, unfortunately the wind dropped a little bit now. So um, what we're going to do is go to the bay in Klittmoller and go for a wing foil session and um, try to ride this like mellow wave that's um, not very steep. Uh, I haven't been wing foiling in waves that much yet. In general, I'm not that experienced wing foiler, but I really look forward to that session. Hey guys, I just got back from the wing session, um, made myself a little cup of tea, although the weather was still quite good um, at the moment in Denmark. So my first wing foiling in the waves, it was really cool, although I was pretty scared to get into the whitewash with the wing, as I, I'm scared that uh, my foil is gonna break the wing or something, so I was quite careful, but still like um, getting um, closer and closer to the white water and it was just so fun like the, when the foil is on the wave and you're just going like so effortlessly and the waves really don't have much power but they just push the foil so that was a really cool experience and I, I can't wait to push myself more um, in the waves with the wing equipment. So I hope you had as much fun as I had on this day and that you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked this, uh, leave us some likes and some comments if you have questions about the Ultra and I'll get back to you and um, yeah, see you next time.